this is Sandra. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing a reverse dip, two canvases. I really have a thing for flowers right now, so that's what I'm going with. I'm going to be doing it with my fire red, my chrome orange, a little bit of burnt umber, and some greens. I've got sap green, my emerald green, a little bit of deep turquoise, and a dark green that I mixed up, which is really sap green and black mixed together. Kind of gave it more of a dark camouflage green color. So that's what I'm going to try and do for a flower on here. Now I'm going to start with, yeah, I think I'll start with my red. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start with my green first. I'm going to put my green down first. A little bit different than I usually do. Let's see if it works. Okay, I'm going to go with some here and up here. Now this is a 14 by 14 canvas and I've got white acrylic already on there and I blew out the bubbles. Maybe a little bit up top here too. Okay, let's go with that. Then I'm going to do my sap green. Now a recent pour I did, I didn't quite have enough paint down, so I'm going to try and make sure I have enough this time so I don't have to double up, double dip I should say. But if I have to, I have to. It's all good. Okay, and let's do emerald. just a bit brighter than the sap. Now I have turquoise put aside, deep turquoise, but I don't think I'm going to put it on this painting. Nope, I'm not going to. Executive decision, no deep turquoise. Okay, now I want to do my red. Actually, I'm going to throw a twist in and add some yellow. Wasn't planning on it. That was a last minute decision. I think it needs a little bit of yellow. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Okay. Nope, and there I am taking the lid off the red again. For some reason, it always seems to give me the biggest hassle is my red. Let me fix that before I pour the whole bottle on my canvas. I think I'm going to have to change caps on that one because, oh my goodness, even in previous paintings you'll see me fighting with the red. Okay, and I'm going to do drops. Right into the green and then back in. There we go. I'm going to leave the cap off the red so I don't have to fight with that anymore. And my chrome orange. I'm also going to do drops. bit out to the sides. I think I'm going to add a little bit of red like that too over here. There we go. I want red to be my more dominant color so I'm going to add a bit more red. Okay, finish with the red. Now my burnt umber. I'm going to start this way. This way. There we go. I think that's all I'm going to use for the burnt umber. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see if this works. 
I'm going to take this canvas, move this one over a little bit, turn this one upside down, and place her down. Okay, I got red paint on that napkin. Let's not use that one to wipe your gloves with. Although I do quite often have bloopers on my videos, so you never know what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to press right in the middle first, and then move my hands up a bit. Okay, what do you think? Is that enough time? Should I lift it up? Let's try. I usually try and go straight up. We'll see if I have any success. Let's move that napkin out of my way. Maybe move this over a tiny bit back this way. Again, I don't have enough paint on there. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to add more color. <sighs> Red. Definitely need more red in there. Okay, an orange. Oh, ha, that's burnt umber. Oops. That's okay, I want burnt umber in there too, so. See? <laughs> oh, he's keeping it real around here. <laughs> this is a what to do and not to do paint pouring <laughs> video. Oh, funny. I have my moments. Okay, do we want to add more green? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm just going to go here, here. Yellow I'm not going to add. I think we're good. And a little bit more sap green. Okay. And a little darker green. Okay, if that's not enough paint, I'll be very surprised because that's a lot of paint on there. Okay. Let's put it back on here. Had to make sure I was doing it in the right same position I had it originally. Okay. Oh, I can even feel the paint a lot more as I press down here. Pressing a little harder this time, I mean business. Okay. Please work. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hold my breath now. Same as last time. Worked for me last, so I'll try it again this time. One, two, three. All right. Much, much better. Okay. Definitely going to give this on a torch. I'm going to turn it this way. And turn this one. Okay, let's see what happens when we torch it.
Lots of bubbles in there and cells are popping up, which is perfect. Let's do this guy. Now, I don't know if you can hear it in the background or not, but I got the AC going today because it's so warm in here. I have to keep it going so my paints don't dry too quick. Okay. Now, do I want to fiddle with anything here? There's one little spot I do want to... So I'm going to take it off the table here. I have a little bit of red right there. I want to get some white on there. And a little bit right here where I must have touched a droplet or something. But white paint works like white out. Takes it right out. Okay. And I got a lot of paint right here. I wonder if I should try and blow that out a little bit. Yep, I'm going to try. Kind of blew it right off the canvas. I just realized my ponytail almost went in there too. Beautiful. Make it look more like a leaf action down there. Up there looks pretty good. How's this one doing? That one's good too. Okay, let's give it one more torch. I think I'm going to call it done. Two paintings in what, 10, 15 minutes? And they're both a little bit different. Now this one's got more paint on it, so I'm not going to display that one. I'll display this one because there will be less paint to pour off the canvas. Because I'm a little klutzy that way. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Thanks very much for joining me, everybody.